Right now, at this very moment, as you're watching this video, the ground beneath Naples, Italy is breathing. Not metaphorically, literally breathing. And you can watch it happen live on webcam. I'm not talking about a distant volcano in some remote corner of the world. I'm talking about Solfatara Crater, a 4,000-year-old volcanic vent, sitting inside Campi, Flegre Europe's most dangerous supervolcano. A supervolcano that 500,000 people call home. A supervolcano that just recorded 95 earthquakes in the past seven days alone. In the last week, the town of Pozzuoli, population 80,000, has felt the ground shake 95 times. That's more than 13 earthquakes per day. Families eating dinner feel their plates rattle. Children wake up in the middle of the night, asking their parents if the house is falling down. And every single tremor is a reminder that something deep beneath their feet is changing. But here's what makes this truly terrifying. These aren't random earthquakes. Scientists at Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology have been monitoring something alarming. The ground in Pozzuolo has risen 1.4 meters, that's nearly 5 feet, since 2005. That's not normal ground movement, that's bradicism. That's a volcano waking up. And those steam eruptions you see bursting from Solfatara crater, they're not just harmless vapor. Those fumaroles are releasing gases at 160 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt plastic, hot enough to boil water instantly. And they're pumping out 150 tons of carbon dioxide every single day from just one vent alone. What you're about to see in this video is something most people will never witness in their lifetime. A live, real-time view into the heart of a supervolcano that could reshape southern Europe if it erupts. You'll see the latest webcam footage showing steam explosions as they happen. You'll see the seismic data from this week showing those 95 earthquakes clustered beneath the city. And you'll understand exactly what scientists are watching right now that has them seriously concerned. Because here's the uncomfortable truth. Campi Flegre last erupted in 1538. It created an entirely new mountain, Monte Nuovo, in just three days. Three days. And before that, 39,000 years ago, it unleashed one of the most catastrophic super eruptions in human history, blanketing the Mediterranean in ash and triggering a volcanic winter. So when the ground shakes 95 times in one week, when steam vents reach record temperatures, when half a million people live directly inside the crater of a volcano that's been quiet for nearly 500 years, you pay attention. In this video, we're going deep. We're going to show you exactly what's happening beneath Pozzuoli right now. We're going to break down the latest scientific discoveries from May 2025 that revealed a hidden underground system feeding these fumaroles. We're going to show you the Stanford University study that used artificial intelligence to detect 54,000 earthquakes that previous monitoring systems completely missed. And we're going to explain what this all means for the people living on top of this ticking geological time bomb. Sir, stay with me. Because what you're about to learn could be the difference between understanding a natural disaster and being caught completely off guard when, not if, Campi Flegre decides to remind us that it's still very much alive. Look at your screen right now. What you're seeing is the live webcam feed from Solfatara Crater, positioned on the slopes of Agnano, looking directly into the heart of Campi Flegre's most active volcanic vent. Those white and grey plumes you see rising into the sky, that's not fog, that's not mist. Nah, that's superheated volcanic gas exploding from cracks in the Earth's crust at temperatures that would instantly burn your skin off. The main vent you're looking at is called Bocca Grande, Italian for Big Mouth, and it lives up to its name. 
This single fumarole is releasing 150 tons of carbon dioxide every single day. To put that in perspective, that's the equivalent of 32,000 cars running continuously, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, from one hole in the ground. But here's what should really make you pause. The temperature at Boca Grande has been climbing. In 2007, it measured 160 degrees Celsius. Today, it's pushing past 164 degrees and rising. That might not sound like much, just 4 degrees over 18 years. But in volcanology, a sustained temperature increase at a fumarole means only one thing. More heat is coming from below. More pressure is building. More energy is accumulating beneath your feet. Now, I want you to think about something. Imagine living in Pozzuoli. Imagine waking up every single morning, looking out your window, and seeing that steam plume in the distance. Imagine feeling your floor shake 13 times a day on average. What would you tell them? Would you say everything is fine? Would you pack your bags and leave? Or would you stay, like half a million others? Because this is your home, your livelihood, your entire life. Here's a question I want you to answer in the comments right now. If you lived in Pozzuoli and felt 95 earthquakes in one week, would you evacuate immediately or would you trust the scientists and stay? Drop your answer below because I genuinely want to know what you would do. Because here's the reality. Those 95 earthquakes aren't random. They're clustered, they're shallow, and they're all happening within a few kilometers of the surface right beneath the historic center of Pozzuoli. The Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology has been tracking every single one of them, and what they're seeing is deeply concerning. The earthquakes are forming a pattern, a ring pattern. And in May 2025, researchers from Stanford University published a groundbreaking study using artificial intelligence to analyze decades of seismic data what they discovered shocked even veteran volcanologists. There aren't just 95 earthquakes. To out as you be, there are 54,000 earthquakes that previous monitoring systems completely missed. 54,000 tiny fractures, 54,000 small cracks forming underground. So what exactly is happening beneath Solfatara? What's causing these earthquakes? What's feeding these fumaroles? What's feeding these fumaroles? Let me show you something that will change how you see this volcano forever. In 2018, scientists published a study in Nature that mapped the underground plumbing system of Solfatara using advanced seismic imaging. What they found was extraordinary. There's a massive gas reservoir sitting just 50 meters below the surface. That's barely deeper than a 15-story building. And it's directly connected to Boca Grande through a 10-meter thick channel that acts like a pressurized pipeline. The gas reservoir is the pressure cooker. So the pressure cooker, the fractures are the cracks forming in the lid. And Boca Grande is the valve trying desperately to release pressure before something catastrophic happens. But here's the terrifying part. The valve isn't working fast enough. The ground is rising at 10 centimeters per year. The earthquakes are increasing. The steam temperature is climbing. All signs point to one conclusion. Pressure is building faster than it can be released. Now let me ask you something. And I want you to really think about this before you answer in the comments. Do you think the Italian government is doing enough to prepare Pazuoli for a potential disaster? Are 500,000 people being given the information they need? Maria, a 67-year-old grandmother who's lived in Pozzoli her entire life, told reporters last month that she doesn't sleep through the night anymore. Every tremor wakes her up. Every shake makes her wonder if this is the one. If this is the earthquake that brings her building down. Sir, she keeps a bag packed by her door with documents, medication, and photos of her grandchildren. Just in case. 
The harbour in Pozzuoli used to be one of the busiest fishing ports in southern Italy. Today, boats sit stranded on what used to be underwater. The ground has risen so much since 2005 that the docks are nearly useless. Fishermen can't bring their boats in during low tide. The marina looks like a graveyard of vessels stuck in mud and grass. That's 1.4 meters of ground, uplift destroying an entire industry. Uzi. Schools in Pozzuoli run earthquake drills every month now. Children as young as six years old know exactly what to do when the ground shakes. They practice hiding under desks, evacuating buildings, and meeting at designated safe zones. In 2017, tragedy struck Solfatara when an 11-year-old boy fell into an unsecured volcanic vent along with his parents. All three died instantly from toxic gas exposure and heat. The crater has been closed to tourists ever since, but the fumaroles don't care about fences. They don't care about warning signs. They keep erupting, keep releasing gas, keep reminding everyone that this volcano is not a tourist attraction. It's a loaded weapon. When Campi Flegre last had a major eruption 39,000 years ago, it triggered a volcanic winter that affected the entire planet. Ash spread across Europe. Temperatures dropped. Crops failed. If Campi Flegre erupts at full strength today, air travel across Europe shuts down. Global food supplies get disrupted. Millions of refugees flee southern Italy. This isn't fear-mongering. This is geological reality. Now, I want to know. Would you visit Pompeii or Naples knowing Campi Flegre is this active right now? Would you risk traveling to this region? Drop your answer in the comments because I'm genuinely curious how many of you would take that risk. The scientists are watching. The webcams are recording. The seismographs are measuring every tremor. And half a million people are living on borrowed time hoping that the next earthquake isn't the one that changes everything. If you want to stay updated on Campi Flegre and other volcanic threats around the world, hit that subscribe button right now. Because when this volcano makes its next move, you'll want to know about it immediately.